Hi everyone, I'm David Gull with Rhizome Labs and this is a very quick tutorial on how to add a logo to the bottom of your 360 video using only Photoshop and whatever video compositing software you're using. As you can see, I'm here in After Effects um, and I captured a beach scene using uh, the Samsung Gear 360. You can see the tripod that was part of the scene, so I want to cover this up with a logo. It's an effective way to do branding and also to uh, not have to edit out any of the tripod. So the first thing to do is to take the composition settings um, if you're in After Effects, but basically get your width and height pixels uh, to create the Photoshop file. So it's 3840 by 1920. And now start a new Photoshop file with those settings. 3840 by 1920 in my case. So this will be my canvas. I have my Rhizome Labs logo, which is actually rectangular, but either way, I'm going to drag and drop it into my Photoshop file. I'm going to invert the logo because black will show up less prominently at the bottom of this video. And then I'm also going to give it a circular background, which works best for the bottom of a 360 spherical video. Just using the marquee tool to draw a circle, aligning it to the center, and creating a solid color layer, moving it beneath the logo. And then just resizing this to be just big enough to encompass the logo. I'm going to collapse this or merge it. And now we are ready to distort this into an equirectangular image. So the first thing to do is create some guides that will help us size this properly. New guide layout. Select rows. And then I've found that a logo height of one seventh of the image tends to cover the tripod. You might have to experiment with this. It might be one fifth, depending on your tripod. Um, but I create uh, seven rows with no gutter. Hit OK. Now transform Control T your logo to be the dimensions of the overall canvas, which will be a two to one. Hit Enter. And then transform this again while holding Alt Shift to maintain that proportion until you are at that one seventh mark for the rows. From here, it's a few more simple transforms. Control T, turn the logo upside down. This will let you put it on the bottom of the sphere instead of the top. Hit Enter. Go to Filter, Distort. Polar coordinates, select polar to rectangular and hit OK. And now you're going to control T to transform again and add a negative value to the width and a negative value to the height to flip everything. And then move this until it snaps to the bottom of your image. Turn off the background if you still have it. And we are now ready to export our image that will be the logo for the bottom of a 360 video. So export, export as, export all. Got a 360 logo folder, so 360 Rhizome Labs logo. Save, open your video editing software, drag the logo in, and you'll see as I place the logo over top of the footage on the timeline that it effectively covers the tripod. And you can imagine when you look down in a spherical environment, you'll see the logo right there at the bottom of the image. I went ahead and uploaded this video to YouTube just to give a quick demonstration. You can see 
that as I pan down, there is our circular logo at the bottom of the image covering the tripod, and the video plays just as you'd expect. I hope this is helpful to people who are just getting started with 360 video to cover up the tripod at the bottom of the image and to make sure that your brand is present to your viewers. If you found this helpful, please like the video, share it, and let me know in the comments if you have any additional suggestions. Cheers.